commercial jet airliners always had to be within 60 minutes flight from a suitable airport. 60 minutes meant 60 minutes of flight at your single engine cruise speed. So if you were a twin engine and you lost an engine, whatever your cruise speed is with a single engine, you had to be able to get to a suitable airport within 60 minutes. And a suitable airport meant that it had a runway long enough for you to land at, it had forecasted weather that was good. And notably, in 1964, tri-jets were exempted from the 60 minute rule, meaning they no longer had to follow it, which was a huge deal, right? Because if you were flying across the Atlantic, uh, under the 60 minute rule, I'm not even sure if twin engines could do it back then. But if you did, you'd have to go a very roundabout route to make sure that you're always within 60 minutes of a suitable airport, which would make the flight be a lot longer, a lot more expensive, burn a lot more fuel. You'd have to charge passengers more. And by getting around that rule, by not having to follow it in a tri-jet, you could fly direct and save a lot of time and a lot of money. And so for this reason, a lot of airliners that were flying routes that were remote over oceans, over deserts, would go for a tri-jet. 